Adult sex reversal is the change of primary sex and secondary sex characteristics to another sex during adulthood. It is an extreme example of phenotypic plasticity, the ability of an animal to change its form due to a cue from the environment. Sex reverse species are called discordant, thanks to the complication between the phenotypic sex and their genotypic sex. Discordance can happen in either direction. When an individual can be genetically male, XY, but anatomically and functionally female, or the opposite, when it can be genetically female, XX, but anatomically and functionally male. Let's review our basics. The general trends in sexuality are best explained by the interaction of two ecological theories. One, the life history theory, which explains the relationship between an organism's anatomy and behavior and their life history. This can include their reproductive development, post-reproductive behaviors, and overall lifespan. Two, the sex allocation theory, which explains the allocation of resources to male versus female reproduction in a given species depending on the circumstances they are faced with. So now that we know what sex reversal means, let's take a look at the model species to see why this is really happening. Meet the barnacle species. Barnacles are a crustacean species under the phylum Arthropoda, along with animals such as crabs and lobsters. They are exclusively marine and sessile animals, which means they attach themselves to something like a rock or some sort of fauna and essentially don't move from there for the rest of their lives. If they can't move, then how do they find a mate, you ask? Well, this is where sex reversal as an evolutionary mechanism comes into play. You see, the sex ratios of a barnacle populations varies depending on the external environment to which they are in. It's important to understand that like humans, each barnacle offspring initially has an equal probability, 50-50, of being male or female. It is what happens after birth, where we will observe some barnacle species undergo a phenotypic change in their reproductive organs in order to maximize their future reproductive success. For barnacles, we see three general situations that each favor a sexual phenotype. One, when the mating group size is small, we observe a dioecious population. This means having only distinctly male and distinctly female individuals, when sperm competition is low, the dwarf males are able to inseminate the few available females. Two, when the mating group size increases to medium, we observe an androdiece population. This population consists of the previously mentioned dwarf males as well as the hermaphrodite individuals. Since the reproductive success of the males is limited by the total number of eggs available, some individuals allocate reproductive resources to become hermaphroditic in order to maximize offspring. The development of these hermaphrodite individuals is favored as they are increasing the overall yield of available eggs for the males and still have a younger age of maturation than distinct females. Three, when the mating group size reaches a large size, we see an extreme bias towards hermaphroditic individuals. The presence of many hermaphrodite individuals begins to select against dwarf males due to their smaller size and fewer sperm. Sperm competition is the highest in this population, yielding a higher number of dwarf males that transition to hermaphroditic individuals to allow the population to prosper. Although we explored the barnacle today, the reason sex reversal is advantageous may be different in different species. However, the universal reasoning is usually because of social structure, environmental, and physiological cues that work towards a more significant advantage for a species, and that is increasing fitness.